Here's something uh, that might be interesting. Okay, this is June of 1973, and Dave Hull on KGBS. Can you dig it? Wait a minute. No, wait a minute. I think he's over here. Hey, hello, who's this? This is Richard. Oh, yeah, you haven't hung up. I thought for a moment you'd hung up. Where do you live, pal? Bel Air. Bel Air? Yeah. Bel Air? Bel Air? Right. Boy, oh boy, pal. If I'd known that, I would have been a lot nicer to you. I mean, if you live in Bel Air, you've got to be a millionaire's son. Is your dad a millionaire? Well, he had money. You mean he's gone? Well, he's dead right now. Gee, I'm awfully sorry to hear that. Did he leave you all the money? Hold on! Hello, who's this? Linda. Linda. Listen to this. Remember the guy whose name is Richard that I was going to set up this girl Christy with? Uh-huh. He lives in Bel Air, hon. Oh. Bel Air. Do you know where Bel Air is? Yeah. Oh, you really sound excited about it. <laughs> Hold on. Hello, Richard. Yeah. <laughs> Forget this girl, Linda, man. She doesn't even know what Bel Air's all about, but I do, dude. All right. Do you have the house and the car and all that? Yeah. Really? <laughs> Hold on. Hello, Christy. Yeah. You don't know, but, hun, I was going to fix you up with this guy by the name of Richard. He lives in Bel Air. Oh, good. Can you imagine the money the guy's got? Yeah. I mean, you don't move in there unless they check you out. You know what I mean? Yep. They have guards surrounding the whole place. Let me find out how big the house is. Hold on. H Hello, Richard. Yeah. Listen, pal, I take back everything I ever said about you. But how many bedrooms you got in that house in Bel Air? Uh, four. Four bedrooms? Uh-huh. Boy, that's one of the smaller places, man. Hello, we got a, I got, a, like, a ballroom and two dining rooms. Two dining rooms and a ballroom. Hold on. Hello. Is this Christy? Yep. He's got two dining rooms and a ballroom. Gee, I didn't know they made rooms for that. Oh. The Dave Hall program is presented solely for the entertainment and amusement of our audience. No dates or other contact is actually arranged between the callers to the Dave Hall program. Any similarity between the description of our callers and actual persons living or dead is purely coincidental. Boy, someday that announcer will choke on something. I hope. Hey, hello. Yeah. Who's this, pal? This is Larry. Larry, how old are you, buddy? Where do you live? Yeah, I live in Cove Park, 19. Okay, dude, at this moment, women all over America are falling madly in love with you. Tell me all about yourself. Uh, that's great. Uh, I'm six foot uh, three. Six three? Yeah. Tall drink of water, aren't you? <laughs> well, how much do you weigh, pal? Uh, 290. Oh, excuse me, 190. More 290? No, 190. You lost 100 pounds there in just a couple of seconds, pal. KGBS, are you a girl? Yeah. What is your name? Sandy. Sandy? Yeah. Do you want to be fixed up with a dude? Yeah. Really? How about a guy who's 190 pounds and 6 foot 3? Uh. Can you dig it? Hello, Larry. Yeah. I got one for you, pal. Her name is Sandy. Now, uh, give me a rundown on the hair and eyes and the car you're driving. Okay, I got brown hair, blue yeah. eyes, and yep. I got a 63 Dodge van. 63 van. The chicks dig the vans, pal. They love to come in with their little cleaning brush. You know, they bring in their little squirty-type bottles and fix up the windows and everything. It turns them on. <laughs> Gives them the feeling of homemakersville. Hold on. Hello, Sandy. Yeah. What a bummer. He's got one of those vans. You know what that means. You're going to have to clean it up. Hold on. Hello, Larry. Yeah. She digs it, pal. How long is the hair, dude? Oh, uh, it's uh, sort of medium freak. Medium freak -o on hair. Yeah. What's that? It's in between medium freak and long freak. Uh-oh. That's medium long freak. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> See how that works? Hold on. Uh, hello, Sandy. Yeah. Guy doesn't seem too sharp. How old are you, hon? 19. Boy, that'd be perfect, though. The guy is 19, except you don't talk too clearly. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I can hardly hear you, hon. Okay. Must be something wrong with your telephone. Nothing's wrong with my telephone. Couldn't be us. Couldn't be us. KGBS, are you a girl? Sure am. What is your name? Yeah. How would you like to have a guy who's got a van? Sure. He's got curtains on the windows, and he shuts and locks the doors. 
<laughs> Can you dig it? <laughs> Hello, Larry. Yeah. Got two of them for you now. One of them's named Jill, the other one's Sandy. The one that's Sandy is 19. Let me find out what she looks like, dude. Hold on. Hello, Sandy. Yeah? Tell me all about yourself. Okay, I'm 5'5", five, five, 110. 110, 5'5", five, five, and your phone doesn't work. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> 36, 24, 35. Wait a minute. Hold it. Don't go away. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Sorry, hon. I thought you said 36, 24, 35. That's what I said. Oh, boy. Hello, Larry. <laughs> Did you hear the junk box go and the horns fall? Yeah, really. Listen, 36, 24, 35. Dude, can you dig it? Yeah, it's too short. Too short? Five. Down to her. Five, five? Yeah. Listen, pal, they're not going to come much taller than five, five. Hello, Jill. Yeah? How tall are you? Five, six. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hello, Larry. Yeah. I take it back, pal. They do come a little taller. There's one on the phone, five, six. Can you dig it? Oh, that sounds pretty good. What happened to that girl earlier, though? Which one? The one that was six foot one and a half? Yeah. Yeah, she bumped her head on the door and fell over. Hold on. Hey, hello, Jill. Yeah? How old are you? Nineteen. Really? Where do you live? Canoga Park. Canoga Park? Yeah. You're kidding me. This guy lives in Canoga Park. Don't go away. Hey, hello, Larry. Yeah. One of these chicks lives in Canoga Park. Yeah, that's pretty good. Can you dig it? She could be your next door neighbor. Let me find out where she lives. Hold on. Hey, hello, uh, Jill. Yeah? What cross streets do you live near? Um, Roscoe and... Oh, Roscoe and Platt, I think. Roscoe and Platt or Roscoe and O? No, it's the end of Roscoe. The very end of right at the end of... Yeah. <laughs> hello, Larry. Yeah? She doesn't seem to know where she lives, pal. Oh, yeah? yeah? she lives at the end of Roscoe at Platt. Do you know where that is? Uh, approximately, yeah. I, I live near the intersection of Roscoe and, uh, or, uh, DeSoto and Sherman Way. DeSoto and Sherman Way. Hold on. H hello. Is this Jill? H hello, Jill? Yeah? He lives at the corner of, um, of Sherman Way and, uh, hold on. Don't go away. H hello, Larry. Yeah. I forgot the cross streets again. Sherman Way and what? Sherman Way and DeSoto. DeSoto, DeSoto, DeSoto. Hey, hello, is this Jill? Yeah. He lives at the corner of Sherman Way and, uh, and, uh, I forgot again. Sherman Way and, uh, hold on, talk away. Hey, hello, Larry, Sherman Way and what? DeSoto. DeSoto, DeSoto, hold on. Hey, hello, is this Jill? Yeah. He lives at the corner of Sherman Way and Ford. Sherman Way and Plymouth. Sherman Way and Chevrolet. Hold on. Hello, Larry. Yeah. Sherman Way and what, pal? <laughs> DeSoto. DeSoto, man. DeSoto, DeSoto. Yeah, Jill. Yeah. Sherman Way and DeSoto. I knew it was one of those. It was either a Ford, Chevy, or Maverick or something. Hello. Uh, hey, hello. Yeah? Do you know where that is, hon? Yeah, I sure do. How far is that from you? About a half a mile. Really? Yeah. Listen, hon, you could start walking around the intersection of Roscoe and whatever... And he'd know right away where you are. Roscoe and what? Oh, yeah, DeSoto. Don't go away. Hello, who's this? Sandy. Sandy, what town do you live in? Bellflower. Where? Bellflower. I can hardly hear you, hon. I'm sorry. Bellflower. Bellflower. Yeah. Boy, I can hardly hear you. This is very weak. Telephone sounds awfully weak. Got a bad telephone. You do, hon. <laughs> it's not our phones here at KGBS. It's oh. got to be, no. It's got to be your phone out there in Bellflower. Who services your telephone? Pardon me? What company services your telephone? Cell phone. Bell? No, General Telephone. General Telephone? Yeah. Yeah, they're one of the bad ones, <laughs> all right. Hold on. Hello, Larry. Oh. Okay, pal. What are you doing over there? Oh, just sitting here trying to, trying to keep up with the radio. I know, just trying to figure things out, aren't you? Hey, GBS, are you a girl? Hello, this is Heinrich. Heinrich! I want a woman right now. I will <laughs> report you to the Führer. D to whom? The Führer. Would you like to go to the Russian front? No, no thanks, pal. I don't even want to go to the Russian back. Sorry, hon. <laughs> I thought you said 36, 24, 35. Yeah, I did. Mm. Whew. 
Hello, is this Miles? Yes, sir. <laughs> is this Miles? This is him. This put, is he. Yeah, put down your Bunsen burner, dude, and the pills and all the powder stuff. Right. This girl's 36, 24, 35. Can you dig it? She's in Belfar, right? Yeah, she is in Belfar. How many deliveries out that far? Oh, what a bummer. Hold <laughs> on. Hello, Beth. Uh-huh. This guy can't have you, hon. You live in Bellflower. He doesn't make deliveries that far. Bummer. Well, what about this other dude? Well, that's Brian. The guy lives in Beverly Hills. He's the guy with all the money. Oh, hey, yeah. That sounds good. Can you dig it? Hold on. Hello, uh, Brian. Yeah? Make it headway, dude. Make it headway. Now, tell me about yourself. This girl digs you, pal. She digs you. Besides that, <laughs> the other guy fell out on her. Hey, GBS, are you a girl? No, I'm not. Okay, no, pal. What's that? I want the ugly stuff. Fat and ugly. Fat and ugly, huh? Buffalo breath. You dig him with buffalo breath, huh? Wait. Hey, listen, pal, get real close to your telephone, okay? I'm there. Okay. <sighs> How's that for buffalo breath? That's coyote breath. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, is who's this? This is Brian. Okay, pal, tell me about yourself. Okay, I'm 5'11". Uh-huh. 140. 140 for 5'11 is super skinny, dude. Well, that's not what counts. Super skinny. Hold on. I'm going to put a prescription in for vitamins for you. <laughs> Hello, is this Miles? Do you have any good vitamins over there at your place? Uh, what do you need? Well, listen, this isn't for me, pal, but this guy's 5'11", 140 pounds. Can you dig it? Oh, jeez. Guy could use some multiple vitamin complexes or something. Do you have any compounds that you can give this guy? I was just making up on my right <laughs> Listen, pal, make an extra package. Hold on. Hello, Brian. Yeah? We'll do something about the weight problem now. Tell me about your hair and eyes. Okay, it's medium freak blonde hair. Oh, the girls dig that, you know. What's that? For the onions. Oh, yeah. Hi, Bobby. Oh! Got it. What about the mayo? You want that doubled? Yeah. Okay, I'll get that in later. Now, what about your eyes, dude? Blue eyes. Mm-hmm. You're one of those surfer guys, I bet, aren't you? Yeah. A skinny surfer. Nice. What are you driving? Uh, blue Fiat station wagon. Fiat station wagon. Yeah. One Girl, four. Yeah, but girls don't dig guys with station wagons, pal. It's just a wagon. It's like a square back. Yeah, but girls don't dig that. It's a complete turnoff for them. I'll show you. Hold on. Hello, is this Beth? Uh huh. Do you like guys with station wagons? Well, not too much, but I heard he's a surfer, and that sounds far out. Yeah, but he's got one of those station wagons, on. That's a bummer. You know, it looks like a family man. You know what I mean? Well, is he foxy? Sure he's foxy, but it's going to look like you should have one of those little seats for the kids in the back, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, that's all right, but because I got a pretty neat car. Really? <laughs> Hello, Brian. Yeah? Listen, pal, she digs you. She doesn't care. She, she, she wants to... Are you a fox? You know it. Really? She digs you, pal. She says, on your car. She'll take her car. Let me find out what she's got. Hold on. Hello, is this uh, Beth? Yeah, sure is. Yeah, what have you got? Uh, well, it's a, it's a little blue pinno. Blue Pinto. Blue Pinto. Yeah, well, it's all right. That wasn't what I was talking about. <laughs> Hold on. KGBS, are you a girl? Hey, no, I'm not, dude. All right, pal. If you had been, I would have fixed you up with Miles. Hey, hello, Miles? Yeah, sir. Hey, nothing happening, pal. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I'm no. listening, but I don't hear any good things. I know, pal. It's because you're tied up in the pharmacy, man. What's this stuff with Beth? Well, she was fine, man. She really is a fox, you know what I mean? Well, all right. She had a blue pinno and was willing to take you any place at all. She's got an unlimited credit card with a gasoline in her car, and you turn it down because you can't get out from West L.A. into into Bellflower. Listen, can I, uh, re can I uh, change my mind? Well, you're the main dude. Yeah, hold on just a second. Hello, Beth? Yeah? Remember the main dude, Miles, who works in the pharmacy? Yeah? He's had a change of heart. He wants you, hon. Oh, that's, oh, that sounds good. I like the older guys. Do you really? Hold on. Hello, Miles. Boy, you're really striking big points now, pal. Oh, yeah? Oh, she takes it, dude. She likes older men. I thought it was too late, but I guess not, huh? Yeah, well, it would really took it on my part. I'm the one who did it for you. You're all right. Yeah. Would you do me a favor, pal? Yeah. Well, you're mixing up those vitamins, throw in a few extra for the heart of a balloon guy. This is KGBS News. I'm Clark Alexander. Sunny days through Friday. Now, Dave Hall. <laughs> Thank you, Clark. Two minutes now till six o'clock with the Hall of the Lord. Before they love her, listen to the crowd.
Big Bigger Do Big Bigger. AM 1020 in Los Angeles with 50,000 watts of power. FM 97.1, 24 hours a day. The man Murray and What About Me to the Sound of Free in 1970. And it's all right now. I'm doing this. I'm going to battle for not only myself, but also Bill Balance of KGBS. Oh, gee, man. He ought to give me some extra money for this. I can tell you that much. Miros. What a rip-off name that is, you know what I mean? Mothers-in-law. Man, I really get myself mentally ready when I have to tangle with mothers-in-law. Hello, is Miros there, please? No, oh, who's this? This is the Hullabaloo at H-U-L-L-A-B-A-L-O-O-E-R at KGBS, spelled KGBS in Los Angeles. You're on the air, pal. I'm on the air? Yes, you're on the air, and I want to talk to Miros. I'm standing on the ground, man. I'm not on the air. No, no, no. I don't mean you're on the air. I mean, you're not up in the air. Well, you are up in the air, but I mean, you're standing on the ground. I can understand that, pal, but you're on the air. All right, hold on. I'll see if she's here. Yeah, okay, pal. I never thought of it like that before, but <laughs> how does a guy stand on the ground and is up in the air? <laughs> oh, the world's full of them, pal. Yeah, see, what do you mean you'll see if she's there? Hello? She's usually yapping. Hello, Miros? <laughs> yes, sir? Yes, this is the Hullabaloo, Dave Hullett, radio station KGBS in Los Angeles, Miros. We have a gripe line. When people get irked at you, they call me, and I in turn call you and chew you out. Can you dig it? <laughs> yeah. Well, you've got a daughter-in-law by the name of Terry. She lives in Pacoima with your son. Huh? She's had it with you, hon. <laughs> Listen, she's bugged at you because you don't like me and you don't like Bill Balance. That's why. You're always yapping when we're yapping. <laughs> and she's trying to hear the radio, and you're always talking. I know. <laughs> well, who do you like if you don't like myself and Bill Balance? Well, I don't know. <laughs> you can't remember any names, can you? <laughs> no. Yeah, don't, don't go away. All right, that's what I recorded back in June of uh, 1973 of Dave Hull, the